Sorry, <laughs> I was on silent mode. <laughs> the Yamaha silent guitar has been out for a while now, and a lot of the people who would have been initially impressed with them have most likely already gone and bought one, particularly the 200 series that was released about six years ago. But the thing is, even six years on, these guitars are still incredibly unique, particularly among bigger name brands. For an acoustic or a classical nylon musician who's looking for something to silently practice and jam along to, or for a touring musician who needs something to bring along that's very portable without compromising on scale length and things like that, there's really nothing better or nothing else. So today, updated for 21, I wanted to go through the top five reasons why you should potentially own a Yamaha silent guitar. Yeah, I know everybody always does top five videos and I'm gonna do one too. So number one, portability. Not only does the lack of need for a full acoustic body or indeed a sound hole aid in its portability, but Yamaha have made this even more streamlined and gone one step further by giving you the option to remove this top bout. So you can pack it away and it's even more portable than it already is. It fits really snugly into the included gig bag and it means that no matter what mode of transport you're using, whether it be trains, buses, planes, cars, mopeds, bicycles, Ubers, tuk-tuks, you can take it with you no problem and you're always ready to play within minutes of unpacking it at your destination. Not only that, but it's still made of a nice wood, so it's not going to feel cheap and plasticky even though it's really lightweight. It's the ultimate travel companion for the touring musician or artist looking for something to practice with or something convenient to gig with. And the best bit is, as I mentioned earlier, you don't have to sacrifice on scale length for a travel guitar, which just makes it lovely. Reason number two, the sound. Now the innovation could stop at its portability, but the sound really is something to behold as well. Now obviously without any kind of source of resonance on the guitar to speak of, the question of getting a natural sound could seem like a bit of a challenge, but the SLGs hold up to this really well. The SRT system on board, which stands for Studio Response Technology, gives you the option of having either an emulation of a mic on an acoustic guitar or having a piezo pickup. You can blend between one or the other, or you can have a nice middle ground between them and really dial in the sound that you're looking for. onboard effects like reverb and chorus to help you sweeten up your sound from within the guitar, which makes it brilliant if you just want a bit of ambiance whilst you're rehearsing in the evening, or if you turn up to a gig at any old place and you don't actually know the system you're plugging into. Reason number three, silence. Okay, yes, I know it's not actually silent, but in case you're wondering, this is the difference between it turned on and turned off.
It's the equivalent of playing an unplugged electric, really. So it'd be similarly quiet, but that's still a massive improvement on a nylon string or a steel string being played naturally in a room. If you live in a flat with paper thin walls or you're trying to jam at 3 a.m. without waking up your mum from your bedroom, then you can do that. They've even thrown in a set of headphones for you to help with this as well. And what makes this even better is the auxiliary input on the side that allows you to plug in any device and play along to whatever backing you like. I mean, it says MP3 player on the original release that I looked on this, but I mean, life moves pretty fast, isn't it? None of us have an MP3 player. But it means you can play along to backing tracks or click tracks, or just the sound of thousands of people applauding. Whatever you like, just plug in your CD Walkman and off you go. Reason number four, power. One of the things that makes portable products really annoying is having to either charge them up or search for really obscure batteries in the duty-free shop of the airport after you forgot to get them the week before. Well, no worries at all with the silent guitars because they run on two AA batteries. That's it. Super easy and super convenient. Not only that, but there's also a DC input on the bottom, so if you're sat there for an extended period of time, you can plug in and save on your batteries. This point's quite important, especially as it's a product that really can't be used without its power. So there's contingency options that you can use immediately, and I like that. Considering there are other unnamed for this video, products that require you to charge them up before use. I really like the simplicity here. And reason number five, price. After all the reasons I've mentioned above, this one is probably the most important. How much for all of this? Well, you're barely gonna be breaking 600 pounds. They're really affordable. For all the premium options that we've discussed in this video, that is a fantastic price. This makes the guitar accessible to everybody, from beginners looking for something quiet to learn on, to professionals who need a portable instrument as a practice or a tool to use whilst they're gigging. Whether you need something to take on the tube to your gig, or whether you just need something to practice with in silence, these things, 
do it all. There's nothing like this out there, and especially not for the price. It makes the guitar less of a leap of faith, especially when it's been specifically built for a more affordable market. Look, they know that this is not necessarily going to replace your handmade Spanish guitar or your 20-year-old steel string acoustic, but it will definitely become a valuable tool in your arsenal for practice, for portability, and for so much more. So there you have it. There is five reasons why you should potentially own a Yamaha Silent guitar. But what do you guys think? Have you got an SLG guitar? Have you been considering purchasing one? Let us know down in the comments. Let's start a discussion and let's help each other out. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon.